Sunday blessings, Sunday blessings, and Sunday blessings. You know what I'm going to say. If you are watching watching and listening to this program, you've already been blessed because that means that God is giving you the breath of life. Let's go ahead and get right on into this blessing today. After I read this today, because this is a reading from the Bible, I want you to get your Bible out if you don't already have it, or... Go online and look this up. This is Job chapter 5, and I'm going to be reading verses 7 through 27. Job chapter 5, verses 7 through 27. And the name of it is, Job is told to seek God's help. So let's get into it. Yet man is born to trouble as the sparks fly upward, but as for me... I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause, who does great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. He catches the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the cunning comes quickly upon them. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope at noontime as in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword, from the mouth of the mighty, and from their hand. So the poor have hope, and injustice shuts her mouth. Behold, happy is the man whom God corrects. Therefore, do not despise the chastening of the Almighty, for he bruises, but he binds up. He wounds, but his hands make whole. He shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven no evil shall touch you. In famine, he will redeem you from death. And in war, from the power of the sword, you shall be hidden from the scourge of the tongue. And you shall not be afraid of destruction when it comes. You shall laugh at destruction and famine. And you shall not be afraid of the beast of the earth. For you shall have a covenant with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. You shall know that your tent is in peace. You shall visit your dwelling and find nothing amiss. You shall also know that your descendants shall be many and your offspring like the grass of the earth. You shall come to the grave at a full age as a sheaf of grain ripens in its season. Behold, this we have searched out. It is true. Hear it and know for yourself. This is what happens when you seek God's help. So go in there and read that now for yourself. That is amazing. And it is a clear reminder of what God will do with your enemies. Come on now. And then it tells you what he would do for you. Let you live out your days in nothing but peace. And just let you live. Wow. Amazing. I had read that for my Bible study earlier in the week. And when I read the words, I just kept reading it, kept reading it. And I wanted to read and share it with you all today. So that was Job chapter 5, verses 7 through 27. What happens when you seek God's help? All right. Time is moving. Time is swift. Enjoy your day today. Be extra blessed today. If you have testimony, put it down there. Um, Whoever's watching this, I hope you join the family today and may God bless you and nothing but powerful blessings be upon you. And remember to seek God's help. Be blessed.